Hey YouTube, BR255 here. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is uh, Linux Mint 17.1, or at least uh, how I've got Linux Mint 17.1 Cinnamon Edition set up. Uh, obviously, this is not uh, this isn't this isn't what you're going to get uh, with the default installation. Uh, I've applied a different uh, desktop background. I've applied uh, uh, some uh, different desktop applets uh, than what comes by default uh, simply for my own ease of use. Uh, this uh, is the uh, uh, app switcher with preview uh, applet. I use the configurable menu as opposed to the mint menu. Uh, I think that makes it, I, I find it a little bit easier to use, doesn't, use uh, doesn't take up quite as much screen real estate. And of course, it, it's Linux Mint, uh, so it comes with a lot of great default software out of the box. I am not going to belabor that point because every other dude that does uh, that, you know, you're going to get that in practically every review. You don't need to hear it from me. Uh, but I am going to show you some things that uh, that if you're used to using Cinnamon that are a little bit different, uh, some user interface tweaks, particularly in the control panel, that I think uh, make it a little bit easier to use. And, uh, and yeah, just... Uh, just kind of show you a little bit more of what's going on under the hood. Okay, first of all, uh, take a look at the Mint Updater. Uh, if you're used to previous versions like Linux Mint 16, the Mint Updater, uh, I'm up to date. I don't have anything new to install. Uh, it handled uh, it handled Linux kernels a little bit differently. Uh, they would show up as level fives, you know, be coded as perhaps a dangerous update. Uh, this version of the Mint Updater, uh, same as in uh, Linux Mint uh, 17, uh, handles Linux kernels uh, like this he, under View and Update Manager, and then you pick Linux kernels. Uh, you're going to have this system. Uh, th this is a seven-year-old desktop system. It's not quite up to modern specifications, so forgive me if things are a little bit slower. And here you can see all of the kernels, uh, Linux kernels that are available. Uh, various 3.13 kernels and uh, the 3.16 kernel, which I am currently running. I believe the default kernel is uh, the 13.37. Uh, uh, the 3.130-37, I believe that is the default the default kernel. But you can you can install the 3.16 kernel and 3.16 kernel runs fine. Uh, there's been some complaints out there that uh, well they don't offer the 3.17 kernel. Remember the 3.17 kernel is still uh, with upstream Ubuntu. I believe it's uh, they might have finalized it, but I've done I've actually done some testing on the 3.17 kernel. And I can tell you right now, cinnamon breaks on the 317 kernel. So until I doubt you will see a 317 kernel available here until uh, until cinnamon uh, gets caught up and is able to handle that. So that's why you won't see a 317 kernel there. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that out. Uh, we'll go to, uh, let's go ahead and open up the control panel here and I'll show you some of the UI changes in the control panel. This is Cinnamon uh, version, I believe it, it's 2.4, I believe it's version 2.4.5. Okay, uh, the theme manager has changed somewhat. Uh, this is a lot cleaner now, uh, where these used to be in, in, in separate tabs, now they're just buttons uh, that you can uh, uh, that you can add or uh, now, now they appear as buttons. I'm using the elegance theme uh, that gives me this. Yeah, it looks black, but that's actually a that's a transparent panel, transparent uh, uh, some menu transparency. Uh, 
I got this icon set off of gnomelook.org and Slickness Black, the uh, controlling the window borders. Love some sick, slickness black. I've loved slickness black ever since uh, fourteen or, or since uh, eight oh Ubuntu eight oh four. So, and of course, uh, you can get more desktop themes uh, you, by clicking that link right there. Uh, as you can see, I've got the elegance theme installed. These are some other themes I have installed on this system, and of course, you can get more themes online uh, with this tab. So anyway, that's the themer. It's changed a little bit. Uh, desktop effects. Uh, this is a. Uh, this really hasn't changed too much. This controls some of uh, some of your desktop effects. Uh, not as much as you'd get with say if you're running a Mate and Compiz, uh, but still very very attractive desktop effects available. Uh, the backgrounds, the artwork that's available with this version of Linux Mint 17 is really just, uh, as you can see, I've got my picture folder. Uh, you have both the default artwork uh, from uh, the Kiana, the Linux Mint 17 release, and uh, Rebecca. So just some really great, really great artwork uh, to choose from here. Uh, Moving on down, a word about extensions. I don't have any installed here. <clears throat> I am going to pause it. I have tried Wobbly Windows on another system. Most of these extensions right now at this point are coded for earlier versions of Cinnamon. So until these extensions get caught up with uh, Cinnamon 2.4, they're probably not going to work. But that's okay. That's okay because what I'm going to show you here, you don't need some of these extensions because some of them have actually been baked in to the operating system. Uh, if I go over here to Windows, your Alt-Tab, you can choose uh, the CoverFlow uh, Alt-Tab extension. And that's uh, that's an effect that I've always that I've always really liked, but yeah. So you no longer need an extension for that. That one is baked in. Uh, you've got some uh, you've got some different uh, window. Uh, you've got more control here. It, if you want your buttons on, on if you want your buttons on the left side of the window you can put them on the left side of the window a la unity a la os 10 uh, if you want them on the right side you can leave them on the right side defaults to be on the right uh, the theme doesn't actually support a shade button but you can still choose it and even without a button you can click there and you can get that shade effect uh, so these are just some of the updates uh, I mean, just really, they've they've made this, I think, a lot more uh, a lot more usable, a lot more logical as far as where you adjust the UI. Of course, uh, you know this controls your settings. Uh, Expo is set as a grid, and that's baked in. You just hit Control Alt down, and there's your Expo view. Hit Control Alt down, and that goes, and, and that comes back. Uh, as far as your virtual workspaces, uh, you get, you, you can set that up. Uh, I'll show you where I've got a hot corner set for it, uh, and you adjust that here with hot corners. Uh, with when, if you hit Icon visible, you get that little shiny spot up there. Uh, I just kind of hide that. I know it's there. So, anyway, that's where you adjust your hot corners. Uh, normal stuff. Login windows. Uh, they've changed the login window. i got to put in my secret sauce here.
So a lot of different themes uh, for both uh, MDM and GDM. Uh, Mintex, this default one, will actually cycle through the different uh, desktop backgrounds you have in the user share backgrounds folder. Uh, that's that's pretty neat. Uh, there's a lot of different HTML ones that you can choose from. Uh, so, you know, that makes the uh, login window very attractive. And, of course, I mean, they've changed your options here a little bit. Uh, so that that is just another place where they've adjusted stuff. Overall, very usable. And most importantly to me, uh, there are desktop environments out there, and I'm not going to call any out, that adjusting the settings uh, can be difficult. They're, they're not all in one place. They're not, they're not logical. Cinnamon, uh, the folks at Linux Mint and the folks on the Cinnamon Project have done a really great job, in my opinion, in actually making that making it elegant, making it logical, making it really easy uh, to adjust various aspects of, of your desktop settings to really, to really make it, to make your desktop your own and to really customize it and adjust it and adapt it to your workflow. That's the thing that I've liked about Cinnamon all along is it bends to your will. It doesn't force you uh, to adjust your workflow to the desktop environment. I think that's very important. So, uh, Linux Mint 17.1 uh, running uh, with the Cinnamon 2.4 desktop environment. Uh, again, I think the Linux Mint team has come in here with a good solid win. Uh, if you're running Linux Mint 17 and you want to upgrade, I understand that there is an upgrade tool that's available, uh, one or two click. Uh, so you can upgrade from uh, 17 to 17.1 quite easily. Or uh, you can just do, uh, if you do like I do, and keep your home folder on a separate partition, uh, you can download the ISO and uh, do a clean install. So, this is BR Tidwell 55, uh, Linux Mint 17.1, Cinnamon 2.4. Thank you for watching.